Hello, it's Sarah. I guess I'm going to do a, a bracelet chair. Let's do that. Um, I've been beading, you guys. I decided to go through my stash and pull anything that had gemstone quality to it. Um, really, I wanted the semi-precious gem. So, um, those of you who watch my channel know that I have been getting a subscription box. I've only gotten two so far um, from Mindful Souls and they send you things that have to do with your spirit that can improve your spirit. Your spirit being your attitude, you know, you're, you're in good spirits. So anyway, um, this is, I believe this was white jade and this is tiger's eye. Um, and I got some rocks too and different um, type crystals, right? Um, I got this book called The Crystal Bible, and I've been looking through it and figuring out what crystals um, could help me in my spiritual journey to just remember certain things. Um, so anywho, I have been wearing my uh, my, this, my Howlite bracelet I got in the mall, and this has the lava stones on it, which I liked yeah, and they still smell. So this is how light, and it's supposedly it's good for patience. And I got this for free when I bought enough money, and then you get a free bracelet. So I was wearing that with my watch, because um, I have a, an eye watch with a white band. So I was wearing that. And then I ordered on Amazon this three set. And I want to say this is, speaking of Amazon, Amazonite, I think it's called. And it was a three bracelet set. And they have, this one has like an ohm charm, a tree of life charm, and a feather. So I was wearing these three together. And I got one for Maya, and she wears hers. But then, oh, and this is what started it, this one, which is so funny, because this was at the hairdressers. And this, I did put a different charm on it. But this was just, I just liked it, and I still love it. And I'm not even sure what kind of beads they are. Um, I want to say agate or something like that because something that comes in a lot of colors like jasper or agate and um, I was where and I loved this one little diamond like blingy one anyway so and these are all elastic so they're super on and off and you know my jewelry was stolen so I didn't I don't have a lot of jewelry anymore so I it's kind of evolved and so I went and got a ton of beads. Um, this is actually from Hobby Lobby is 50% off and Michael's is two of the different colors were um, I want to say 50 or 40% off so I've been beading and I also wanted to show you so this when I first started beading and this is going back maybe like 12 years ago when I first started um, watching YouTube videos. One of the first crafts I started doing was beading. And I got addicted to Swarovski crystals. I love Swarovski crystals. And I was making just whatever. But these bracelets, this is, I didn't take this one apart, but I took my name bracelets apart. This one is my mom's bracelet, I would call it. So it's Matthew and James. And those are sterling silver um, block beads. And I used crystals. I used Peridot for Maddie because he's an August baby. And I used the clear crystal for James because he's April. And that's diamond, you know. And I mean, I like it. It's wearable. And I um, I strung this one with the wire cording. And you use a, a, a crimp bead and, you know. But I took mine apart. I had two name bracelets that I had made. And my desk is so full of stuff right now. Like, I would... I had the like beads that um, I took it apart, you know, anyway, but so just for demonstration purposes, but I don't need to show you. So this is what I ended up making. Um, I'm so thrilled with these. Okay, so here's my name bracelet. I had these. So I had the block letters and I had the sterling silver beads. I just went through my stash, like look. I mean, I don't know if those of you who, <laughs> oh, that's a little too close. But I've ordered online a lot. Um, Brightlings was a big one that I used to order from. So yeah, Brightlings. Um, 
that says Breitling's Art Beads was another one. And I mean, I've gotten beads everywhere. AC Moore Michaels, Joann's, you name it. But this is Tiger's Eye and some silver beads and a little charm. So this was a, um, this is a silver heart. And I mean, I can change it cause it's mine and it's a stretchy and it's nice and warm cause I just had it on. But I figured I'd do it in the tiger's eye because I can wear it with everything, right? Like it's a very, um, it doesn't, it's not like a color. And then look, this is called Sunstone. And I'm gonna, I might read to you some of the things that Sunstone stands for. And I'm so thrilled with Sunstone. It's a little bit like opal -y and it has some flash to it. It's got, it has kind of like a tiger's eye or a, cat's eye feel to it um, but look this one had like some shine in there oh it's very pretty this is I think a six millimeter and I got these so I had these in my stash but then when I went um, I only had one piece sign and I could have made it with a green piece sign but I found these silver ones these were at I think Michaels and I just love it so I had these little heart spacer i'm sorry these are flower spacers sarah they're not hearts so super simple guys and then you slide it on so now oopsie i'm so sorry this is i'm just i love like it just brought them back to life it refreshed them you know and made them what i'm into now so i'm so excited so then on this wrist this is what i'm wearing on this wrist I have, and I had this, this was um, rose quartz that I had from Origami Owl. Um, so I cut it apart and I put some lava rocks on there. Mm. And I put a heart because rose quartz is definitely um, about, about self-love. I'm using this for self-love. Alexa, turn on the f fan, the craft fan. Let's see if she'll do it. Okay. She did it. Um, because one of my things, um, is, you know, I beat myself up a lot. I tend to do some negative self-talk sometimes. So what these beads can do for you is just remind you. So if I look down, so I put my, um, my pink watch band on and I can wear my rose quartz on that wrist. Um, but if I look down and I just think, okay, you know, go easy on yourself, forgive yourself, be, it's okay, do better next time, you know, those type of things. That's what these beads are kind of um, for in my book, you know. I mean, I don't know if the properties they talk about are actually, you know, really happening. But to me, now this is um, pink opal, I believe. Um, so I made this little serenity bracelet. I have... I have the colored ones and the white ones, so I just made Serenity, and I just felt like putting that, and I think it's kind of, they're pinky, these are pink opals, so I'm wearing that with that, and I put the little flowers on there too. So this flower and this flower, see how it's like kind of matches? So see, why am I going to go to Amazon or to a shop or something and buy it when I can make it myself? And I have made this stuff over the years, right? So I just want to show you a few more things that I've made. This is called Sodalite. And I don't have, I didn't have any blue bracelets that I was wearing. And sometimes I wear blue, like I'm wearing blue pants today and I'm just wearing gray, blue and gray. But Sodalite is so good. So here's my other name. This is a, a little bit chunkier um, millimeter size. It's a little bigger. So this is a bigger, this is a 10 millimeter Sodalite. And these are probably eight for the tiger's eye. So, um, and then I put my Taurus charm, which is sterling silver, because I ordered that at, so I have my own, I you know, I mean, I just like these slip-ons are so much more convenient anymore for me than having, I mean, it's not that big a deal. I can still do clasps, like I'm not that bad. Um, but as our hands get weaker, you know, like I could still put this on. Um, so I made that one for myself. And then I had one more little itty bitty letters. So I'm never going to forget who I am, you know, that's good. 
but this is amethyst and amethyst is a very healing so maybe if I don't feel like um, I mean these are light though guys don't get me wrong they're not heavy at all um, but this is very light like these little tiny little beads are just, I just love it it's so cute so that's what I did there um, I want to read to you I'm just gonna take an intermission and just read to you what sunstone is because I don't know it's not I hadn't really heard of it that much like I wasn't that familiar with it but I want to it's in here and it says some real I made Maddie one also um, amethyst is for sobriety amethyst has been known through time to um, ward off drunkenness and things I'll read that to you too so sunstone it comes in yellow, orange, and reddish brown. Um, it's clear, transparent, or opaque crystal with iridescent reflections. See? Um, okay. Sunstone is a joyful, light-inspiring stone. It instills joie de vie and good nature and heightens intuition. I'm going to pull this one out because this is a bigger... No, that's not it. This is it. This is the sunstone in the bigger version. And I mean... I'm telling you, when in person, you can see little flecks of, like, shine. Eh. Anyway, um, it says it, it instills joie de vie and good nature and heightens intuition. If life has lost its sweetness, sunstone will restore it and help you to nurture yourself, right? So it says, it says, it, this stone allows the real self to shine through happily, Traditionally, it's linked to benevolent gods and to luck and good fortune, but I wanted to read this part. It's extremely useful in removing hooks from other people, whether located in the chakras or the aura. These hooks can be at the mental or emotional level and may come from possessive parents, children, or lovers. They have the effect of draining your energy. Sunstone lovingly returns the contact to the other person and is extremely beneficial for time tie cutting right so I don't know it's very interesting I don't know how they come up with this stuff but this one's good it says keep sunstone with you at all times if you have difficulty saying no and continually make sacrifices for others some of us are so like that I mean it's a big it's a big in recovery there's a lot of that that happens it's codependency yeah it says right here removing codependency it facilitates self-empowerment independence and vitality and it says if procrastination is holding you back, sunstone will overcome it. And then this part. It acts as an antidepressant and lifts dark moods. It is particularly effective for seasonal affect disorder, which is the light, lightening the darkness of winter. People get that in the winter time when it's so dark all the time. It detaches from feelings of being discriminated against, disadvantaged, and abandoned. Anyway... Um, it encourages optimism and enthusiasm. It switches to a positive take on events. I love this. Even the most incorrigible pessimist responds to sunstone. Um, so yeah, it has, uh, I just, you know, and look, I don't know if it's true, but if, if you need a little something to perk you up, right? And this one, I put the, the lava beads on here so you could put a scent, right? You could put a one of the essential oils on here and just smell it in to make yourself it's sensory right and then I put a butterfly because um, they they metamorphosis right the metamorphosis of the of the butterfly going from um, the larva to the beautiful butterfly um, so anyway um, I did I made another um, rose quartz and then let me show you these other ones so where are they? Because I made a pile of the ones that I want to keep. <laughs> I don't know where I put them. Because I made a um, malachite one. Where is it? Oh my gosh. I'm a spaz, you guys. I don't know where it is at the moment. So anyway, I went... Oh, here they are. I made them. So yeah, this is the... Um, so this is malachite. And I put a little amethyst angel and a cross with a little piece of like amethyst bling because this actually this is not malachite this is jasper this is jasper this is another this is an amethyst this is amethyst um 
yeah, they're Jasper. This is Jasper. This is called Picasso Jasper. I think I'm going to change this. I don't like it having two. But you know what else? The turtle is a very big symbol too. A turtle, see I did this one. This is, um, I think this is Jasper. These are all three of these are Jasper. But they're different colors because it, they come in a lot of different stones. But you, it says it on the label when you're shopping. So, um, like... Blue Adventurine, Lapis, Agate. See, this is Agate. You might think it was um, Amethyst, but it's Agate. They come in all different colors, and sometimes humans do dye them. Like, I don't know. I don't think, I don't trust this as being super in its natural state, you know. Um, I did buy some Howlite, some more Howlite. It says Howlite Stone. Um, because that's supposed to be good for patients. This is called hematite. This is heavy. This is more like, I don't know, it's like a metallic. I like hematite though. And they all have different properties that are, that can be, oh, carnelian. So I haven't figured out, um, what I'm going to do with all of them, but I just wanted to have them on hand. So let me read you, I just want to read you the um, amethyst one, because amethyst is a very good stone to have around. Amethyst, I think it's here, A-M-E-F-G, here it is, okay. It says here, it's extremely beneficial to the mind, calming or stimulating as appropriate. Um, I want to feel this. Mentally, it helps you feel less scattered, more focused, and in control of your faculties. This stone facilitates the decision-making process, bringing in common sense and spiritual insights, and putting decisions and insights into practice. Um, I wanted to try and tell you about the, um, the sobriety. Here it is. Okay. It's extremely powerful and protective, with a high spiritual vibration. It guards against psychic attack, transmuting the energy into love. The natural tranquilizer amethyst blocks geopathic stress and negative environment energies. Its serenity enhances, high, enhances higher states of consciousness and meditation. It has strong healing and cleansing powers and enhances spiritual awareness. Traditionally, it was worn to prevent drunkenness and has a sobering effect on overindulgence and physical passions supporting, supporting sobriety. It overcomes addictions and blockages of all kinds. Used at a higher level, amethyst opens to another reality. So it's just crazy. Like, I don't know how they came up with all this stuff. I mean... I like it. It balances out your highs and lows, promoting emotional centering. Um, it says it alleviates sadness and grief and supports coming to terms with loss. It's one of the most spiritual stones, promoting love of the divine, giving insights into its true nature, and encouraging selflessness and spiritual wisdom. So, I'm just, I'm very much in tune with that at the moment. Um, trying to be anyway. So this is my, this is the one I made for myself. This is my amethyst. Yeah, so all three of these are jasper. And like I said, I don't, I kind of put the pink and gray because I like, um, but I like having the lava stones with it. Like this one's really pretty, right? This kind of reminds me of turquoise with the little, um, the turtle. And those are sea turtles. But I want to show you, oh my gosh, this one's so pretty with the purple and green. Oh, so pretty. So anyway, I just wanted to share that. So yeah, there was a little bit of a sale. Like these little charm along charms were, um, I think, buy, oh, excuse me, buy one, get one 50% off. Um, what else did I get? Not everything I got was on sale, but I try. I really try. I put back a lot of the, um, anything I picked, even though it was like I wanted it, I was like, it'll go on sale. I'll get it when it's on sale. These little crosses, I don't know why. I just thought they were super cute. They're little tiny crosses. Um, but that's it, you guys. Uh, I finally just decided why am I buying these bracelets when I can make them myself and I can customize it how I want it to be, right? So right now I'm going to make 
a smaller version of this Howlite, I think. Um, yeah, and that's it. I think that's it. I had an empty one of these. So, but see, look, I have been collecting beads forever. I have all of these dangles made of all types of stuff. Um, you name it. I have coarse sugar skulls. Um, so I just went through and I pulled, look, here's what I'm working on. I was going to make this. This is like an art bead that I got at a show one time this little ladybug and I should just do it I have this red where'd it go this one it's called red jade I think this is jade and I thought that would look so pretty with that I don't know I just I don't know if I'll wear it I don't think I will I kind of just want to do this red just straight red but red and silver would look good anyway um so that's that I, uh, yeah, there's nothing else. So here's the lava beads. I did get a couple chakra beads, like strands that had the chakra beads in them. Um, red, yellow, orange, green, blue, indigo, purple. So that's it, you guys. Um, hope you're all having, oh my God, these, I was so excited with these last night. These are my faves right now. Alright you guys, thanks for watching.